The mesotint here uh, is called the clevis, and actually it's a tool that can be found in hardware stores, and they have very tiny ones, and then there's huge ones that are used to anchor ships. And this was in the prop room at um, Santa Rosa Junior College when I was teaching drawing. And I just found, after having the students draw this and many other things, that they were very interesting shapes, especially cropped and with different kinds of shadows and lighting. And I became quite intrigued and then decided to do this mesotint, which has three plates, and it's on paper. And I'm going to explain later the technique, because it comes from a different world than our world of computers and digital images today. It, mesotints are a technique I adore, because there's a quality to the surface that's um, very sensuous and also mysterious with extremely rich velvety blacks that you can't really totally appreciate under glass. You have to really see in person. One can control the tonal range from black through the grays to very light gray with just a tool in the artist's hand. I, I like to have that kind of control. I love the chiaroscuro of dark and light. And I, I found after trying many other printmaking techniques that I couldn't get the same result in anything else. There's something about the way working in black and white and so simply and in a, a technique that's very painstaking and takes a very, very long time that helps me or forces me almost to distill my images and be very clear and careful that there's nothing extra. And I found that that quality, those qualities and that discipline, over the years, I've been able to carry into my paintings. And now I paint in a, in a way that's, um, there's color, but it's muted color, subtle color. But there's that same careful distillation of the image and a buildup of the image with layers of glazing. So the mesotint has been really important to me.